Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Serious Strategy Game and we are returning to a Let's Play of Rule the Waves 3. The game is only a couple of days from launch, so let's see what we can do this time around. In between episodes I did play one turn and that resulted in a carrier battle and I was very very excited to show that to you guys, so I talked a lot and a lot. But then ultimately we didn't find the enemy carriers, it was just stumbling in the dark no one found each other, there was bad weather, and, and we just really didn't find anyone. So, a bit inconclusive there, but uh, you can see now most of our forces are down in Southeast Asia, where the Brits have launched an invasion against our possessions here. So we're going to try to concentrate our forces here. We think the Brits will probably do the same, because we've pretty much kicked them out of Northeast Asia. They don't have a base here anymore. They can't uh, field too many ships there. They can field ships there, but they are always at the danger of breaking down and being interned. So let's see what we can do down here. Um, also, I think it might make sense to trigger a couple of battles around this island because that might mean that we can uh, support them. And indeed, there is a cruiser battle here. And this is a fleet sized battle, so this might be pretty big. We have three carriers, they have two. We've got five battleships, they have got one. They've got a good number of heavy cruisers though, so let's see how this is going to turn out and specifically whether we do get to pull in our carriers uh, and heavy battleships. So, seems like it is early morning, seems like there are only a couple of ships around. Well, we do have two carriers, we do have one heavy cruiser, we've got a couple of light cruisers and stuff here, and our three battleships, the trusted Yashima, Sagami and Fuso, that's the first battle squadron, uh, really the big guys here. Right, uh, you guys can screen, that's fine. You guys should scout if you can. So yeah, let's have you scout for first battle division. You're gonna be AI controlled, that's gonna be all right. You guys gonna go a little bit faster. You know what, let's go 20 knots here. Oh, and then it seems like carrier division one here is AI controlled. You're supporting battle squad and that's fine. We're also gonna provide combat air patrol to them. And then what we're also going to do is, of course, set up our search patterns here. And I would very much like to, to do that for our carriers, actually, because I don't want them to be completely independent. We've got two carrier divisions, I think, now. Yeah, that's true. For some reason, I can't quite click on there, but I can click on here. Well, I don't think we need 300 kilometers or miles. I think 200 is going to be fine. The rest should be okay. We don't want to do night combat air patrol, but the rest is okay too. Right, let's also select a strike here. Let's go with heavy loadouts. I think that's going to be better. We could go with light ones uh, or medium ones. But the slight issue here is our escort fighters only have a very limited range at 183 miles. So that matches up with our heavy range here. So we probably need to think about better fighters in due time. But for now that should be ready. So let's ready you guys and then also you guys here. Uh, let's auto select everyone and get you to be heavy. You're gonna do torpedo runs, that's fine. Let's... Not select ready, ready strike, there we go. Right, that's fine. We're gonna start a five minute turn here. Um, someone was leading herself, that's interesting. Right, that's probably the light cruisers here, isn't it? You guys here, you are set up to screen for battle division. You guys here are doing what? You're also screening for battle division, but you know what, we can ask you guys to, to go ahead and do that but actually go ahead and do a patrol, scout, scout mission. That's what I want to do, there we go. So that will mean that they're gonna fan out a little bit. You guys here are doing a little bit of a dance there, that's fine. Right, so five more minutes, let's see. You can see our search planes emancipating from the carriers and starting to look for the enemy, which is good, of course. There comes Dawn, so now we should be able to have a lot more vision range than we did just a moment ago. But for now, we don't see really a lot. So let's see whether we can find the enemy. This is our base down here. We do have a couple of uh, carrier, uh, a couple of not carriers, a couple of uh, submarines in the area. So that should give us a chance to find someone. But again, reports don't seem to be too reliable. It seems like one plane is missing, which was going this way. That can happen. 
and that I think was one of the factors at historically at Midway that uh, really brought down the Japanese. Yeah, I think it was a, an error for the Japanese who did not really uh, notice or which had a small gap here and which meant that they were missing the American carriers which in turn was one of the factors that contributed greatly to their loss. So we need to be a little bit aware that this could be where they are. Well, that being said, we are getting the first report from over here. There's a group of ships that is mov moving due east. Apparently that's three heavy cruisers and two light cruisers. That's not going to be our main target, but we can, I think, send the send the battleships there. I'm not going to send a strike there because that would really not be warranted. I think we're better off keeping our planes in reserve if we find an enemy carrier fleet. That would be the much, much greater threat. There is also a battleship up here, which again is a little bit more of a threat, but still not quite as bad as carriers. So we're going to continue the run here. We can go slightly faster, I suppose. And if they have a single battleship there, then, then that would be alright. Well, now we are talking. This is a light carrier here. But a light carrier is not a carrier. And we there were a lot of historical battles that ended up with premature launching. At, I think the Battle of the Coral Sea included launching at um, light car carriers when that was really not the best. Well, I say that. And immediately we are seeing two groups of enemy aircraft. What have we got here? Nine dive bombers there and eight dive bombers here. Now we've got a good number of combat air patrol um, planes that are supporting our battleships, but it's uh, slightly worrying to me. So we're going to try to speed up a little bit here. And the reason why that is worrying to me is because we still don't have not of enough of heavy AA capabilities in our ships. So, ah, not great. I'm starting to get very concerned, but the fact that we are seeing 17 dive bombers to me means that's very unlikely to come from a light cruiser. There's some air battles here. You can see that our combat air patrol is attacking them. It hasn't shot down anything yet, I think. There we go. Six dive bombers do attack. Only nine combat air patrol hit. Oh, and that's bad. That's really bad. Shikaku has been hit by one bomber. And Shikaku has actually suffered a deck penetration hit. And remember, we were getting our aircraft ready. And that means that fires have started and she is... Is she on fire? I think she is on fire, although it doesn't tell us that she is. Yeah, that's, that's super bad. Is that Shikaku? No, it must have been, yeah. Super, super bad. We didn't even see them coming down there. We only saw a couple of them down here. There's also torpedo strike now. This is quickly turning out to be not that great. We've got another attack on Yashima. She is being hit. Two dive bombs hit her and the frontal turrets uh, get taken out. Then we've got Fuso being attacked by torpedo bombers. That is not going to hit this time around. That would only hit next turn. And these guys are in a pretty bad battle line here. And then Sagami is also being bombed, but no hit there. That's not good. That's really, really not good. Also, we're actually seeing that dive bombers do shoot down two of our combat air patrol craft here. So, not a great start here. Fuzu is avoiding torpedoes. Maybe she did that. I, I'm not sure whether she, she was successful. Even if she was, look at all of these uh, destroyers that are lined up here. More dive bombing attacks. One more at Yashima. No hit. Eight torpedo bombers at the destroyer for some, for some reason. That's okay. And then Sagima is being attacked, but no hits there. Massive attacks against us. There, there they are. Okay, let's pin a note here on these guys because I would like to find out where they, where they are coming from, where they are going. Sometimes they do use a little bit of an offset attack, but I think they're coming more like from here. 
Okay, let's do... I would like a two-phase surge, but we can't do that, it appears. Let's go for heavy combat air patrols. I think that's that's really warranted here. Okay, so pretty bad start here. Chicago is also avoiding torpedoes. Please no hits there. Okay, at least that didn't happen, so that's good. So how are things here? Avoiding air attack. Okay, yeah, it seems like you at least managed to extinguish the fire pretty rapidly there, so that's good. Um, that could have really, really turned out to be super bad. And Yoshima, how are you doing? 12% damage, that's pretty bad already. Two bomb hits, and the turret is disabled, but it's not completely destroyed. So they might come back into action, but we do not quite know. Okay, we do see that there are six more dive bombers coming in, though. And I think... Probably a little bit to the left there. Right. Let's grab you guys, let's get you to max speed, and I do want you to go roughly here. You're gonna not do that immediately, because you'll need to avoid the dive bombers and, and stuff that is coming in. Although they seem to be coming in for our... Uh, Carries, I wanted to say, but apparently they are attacking some destroyers here. That's fine. If if you want to attack destroyers, that's that's really gonna be okay. Six more torpedo bombers. Jesus, we are being relentlessly attacked here. And we really have no idea where they're coming from. We only have one single report here of that one single light cruiser, uh, light carrier. Okay, we are actually gonna ask Chicago to let's select the ready guys. And you are actually going to attack here with a preference on carriers. And it's only going to be 14 minutes, so that is going to be a coordinated strike. Let's have you launch. I do want to also get you off deck. It's not the most high priority target, but at least a small strike, I think, is warranted. Three dive, uh, tr three torpedo bombs are attacking Shakaku. Ah. Whew! This is always giving me the cramps, guys. This is this is so tight. Okay, seems like we have beaten back the first wave of enemy air attacks here. Hmm. And as I say that, we are seeing seven more torpedo bombers. We must spot their carriers, and we haven't haven't gotten any report here from carriers, just like carriers. Are oh, this turning out to be a disaster? We must really heavily invest into our enemy, into our AA guns. Three torpedo bombers attacking. At some point they are gonna, at some point they're gonna hit. Nine dive bombers. I think the dive bombers are coming in for, no we don't know. Might be that they're turning around. Sagami, Sagami is hit and she is suffering an engine hit, room hit. Obviously not good, but I think it didn't penetrate, so at least there's that. Yakazi is being attacked by four, no hits there. Yashami by one, no hits there. And there is more combat air patrol stuff happening, but it doesn't seem... This is so tense. More, more attacks on us, and we still haven't spotted them. Hornets. What are the Hornets? S Hornet Naval Strike. Do we have any bases around here? No. Do we know in the Almanac what what that is? The Hornet. We only know about the ships. No, no, we do know. Floatplane Scout. Which ship would have that many floatplane scouts? It's not a base. There's no base that's that's close enough here. So I think that, that can't be ground-based. Do they have a tender that has that many planes? Let's see. They level bomb some destroyers. No hits, obviously. And we are shooting down at least some of them. Well, I say obviously, but Hatakazi is being hit by one bomb here. 
How, how bad was that? 300 pounds. And that is actually going into the coal bunker. So we are a little bit lucky here. But obviously it would have been much worse if they had attacked other planes. Four more dive bombers here on Iwati. Who is kind of lonely actually. So can I get you to race to the front a little bit? And it feels so bad to be under attack and, and not being able to do anything about it. This is tough. This is tough. And I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, the famous five minutes at Midway, which turned arguably the battle, if if not, maybe even the war. But there's, there's our first strike here heading out towards the enemy. That's good at least. Now, it might of course be that we have misidentified the enemy, and that's what I'm also a little bit hoping that these guys will find out. That we're not actually up against a light carrier there, but this that that might actually be the main carrier fleet of the enemy. Although I seem to remember that, if we look at that closely, the Almanac that is, I think the Brits had a lot of light carriers too. Yeah, three, three, three big ones, and ooh, uh, this, is, this is news here. We finally identified a couple of enemy ships, so let's slow down a little bit so that the vibrations in our ships don't cause our gunnery to be thrown off. But there we are, that's that's a lot of ships there. That that I can appreciate because that is finally giving us some way to fight back here. Um, that being said, I, I, I think some are fine. I don't want to go up against their entire fleet with our car uh, <laughs> carrier, without our heavy cruiser here though. And I think we are seeing some big ships there, so let's make sure you guys here are as fast as you can be and, and let's try to get you in, into range here. Uh, while you guys might start to pull them back a little bit to here. Yeah, I think that's... no. Okay, we are approaching enemy ships, that's, that's good. Um, and you know what, you're gonna go here so that the smoke doesn't blow away from us and, and over our sights and over our guns. Um, so that we have a slightly better ability to hit the enemy here. There are some air battles over here. But we we haven't seen any attack yet. So we haven't heard back from them attacking anything really so far. Well, now they're claiming to actually attack a carrier as opposed to a light carrier. We haven't seen any hits. But these are torpedo bombers, so we wouldn't expect them to see hits. There we go. At least a hit here. And a lot of CV bomb hits. Now that almost leads me to believe that this is indeed maybe the enemy main main package. So let's revisit our strike here. And ask you guys to attack right over here with a focus on, on this. That's fine. Let's select everyone who's ready, and if we do a coordinated strike it would take ages, but I suspect that that might be because we can't really coordinate between carriers. Is that a thing? Yeah, so if we do coordinated strikes, but only for one carrier at a time, I think that's going to be alright. So let's launch that strike, which we do want to coordinate, then select everyone else who's ready. And let's launch another strike here with you. So each of them sort of coordinates on their own. I think that that might be the way to go here. But we also need to deal with this stuff here a little bit because it looks like you guys have... Yeah, we know that you've been spotted. I dislike that our battleships are so far away from one another. You guys are screening. Let's ask you to support instead. And didn't we have light cruisers? Yeah, you guys also should... Oh no, that's the heavy cruiser. You're doing fine. Who are you? You're the light cruisers. You're scouting. Yeah, let's also set you to support. You know what? We might actually ask you to support the heavy cruiser. If we can find her. Yeah, there we go. Right. So concentrate our forces a little bit now that we have spotted the enemy. 
It looks like so many ships. I, I doubt, I kind of doubt that that's a battleship. It's too fast. It can turn around too quickly. Yeah, it's a heavy cruiser, the Diadem class. We've faced these guys before, I think. Six eight inch guns as compared to our eight eight inch guns. But there are at least two of them, if not more. We're currently out of range. Oh, but they, I think we found that they had a higher range. They might have elevated guns. And we still claim that there's a battle cruiser in there, which I doubt. But I suspect that that might be. No, it's probably yet another heavy cruiser by looking at, at the size of it. Yeah, but there's there's no point in in seeking this engagement. Let's withdraw a little bit here. We're getting more reports here about battleships and stuff, which I deem to be a little bit unreliable. We have already scored a good number of hits there with the torpedoes and and stuff, but. That is not going to be enough. Also, we are seeing more float planes. It could be that the enemy is predominantly using float planes here. Okay, we are starting to get into the range here. Let's again turn to the north here so that our ships are not hampered by smoke. Air attack on Yashima. Inconsequential. We are managing to hit them. We are already en engaging the Diadem class here, but I think pretty unsuccessfully. Also notice the swarm of enemy destroyers. That is a problem that we really haven't solved until yet. One 16 inch gun hit there on the Diadem, so that's also nice to see. And the other one is an Europa class, which I think we've also witnessed before. Yeah, 10 10 inch guns. That's that's an interesting design choice there. That's that's a fairly significant number of guns there, uh, especially for a ship that size. Uh, Yashima, you can only fire two of your turrets. Let's turn around a little bit. Uh, luckily, at least you have repaired one of them. I'm slightly worried about the number of destroyers that we do see here, but at least. Sagami is also engaging now, but only with two of her turrets. Fuso is lagging behind a little bit. That's alright, so let's take the heavy cruiser. Let's turn her about again to engage a little bit with these. You know what, we might send her that way. Yeah, let's, let's send her this way so that we are engaging some of these destroyers here. I think that would be pretty good targets. Um, and whoever's launching torpedoes here... Stop doing that for the moment, please. Well, I say that, but if you launch at the at the heavy cruisers, I wouldn't mind that. We had great success with that before, so let's try to do that. Okay, you can't. Okay, let's let's send out a couple of torpedoes. Let's see what's going to happen. More enemy ships, but at least a good number of thirteen and sixteen-inch gun hits here. Three 16 inch guns. That's. that's That must do something. But they have five heavy cruisers here. Super significant. You're supporting, right? Um, you can actually be core part of the heavy cruiser division. More diadem and the gala class being hit here. Which is kind of exactly what we want. Um, you guys. Go for destroyers, please. There we go. Yeah, that's that's better. Good. Right, they are turning around that way. That's not good. And Yashima is being hit in one of her turrets. Not good. They are also turning the wrong way. That means they might be going for our battleships here. The battleships do, of course, have secondary guns. But at this distance, I'm super worried. What are you guys doing? You are attacking the... Gala class. They're saying a lot of torpedoes their way now. Looks like the heavy cruisers are turning away. A couple of light cruisers in, in behind there. And more and more aircraft. All of our other ships are a little bit far away now. You're, you're told to support the battleships, but you're not too close. Which is alright, but it also means that our combat air patrol is not going to be as effective as it could be. So that's not great. 
Angler class being hit. Tashima secondary class hit. What are you doing? Are you avoiding something? Do you have do you have rudder problems? No. You're not evading. Then why are you turning in like that? That I don't understand. Okay, let's do it like this. Sagami being dive bombed, no hits on her. Angler class being hit by some smaller stuff, that's nice, but nothing too critical here. But they are getting awfully close. But of course at this distance at this distance they are starting to get mauled. And that is really what I do love to see. Our torpedoes are going nowhere though. That's uh, alright ish. More heavy hits on the diadem. More enemy aircraft approaching. Where are you coming from? Just tell me. Just tell me. We don't... Oh, no. No, no, no. We do have reports about enemy carriers now. They are right here. Can we pass all of these pesky heavy cruisers and start getting into their rear? Now that would be mighty tempting. The Shima is being hit by the Europa class there. Fuso is being dive bombed and suffers two attacks to an engine room, but it appears at least like both of them are being stopped by the deck armor. So there's no asterisk here, that means no penetration. Good. Our armor is holding up. They are using pretty light stuff, I think. Right, you're doing fine. The issue is you're slightly, slightly in an uneven match down here now. But I think we are all right. Okay, can we go a little bit further to the northwest there to maybe get into range of the carriers? Notice some of our torpedoes are still lined up to their heavy cruisers. But apparently no hit there, unfortunate. Sagami and Fuzu still engaging them. And even Iwata is doing some stuff there. That's good. We are getting around them a little bit, but I'm starting to worry about the number of enemy groups here. We've got a war wars, we've got an, uh, before, war wars seems to be their fighters, and then uh, more befores there. There's lots of dive bombers here, and a battleship. Could that be a battleship? That might actually truly be a battleship now. In which case, you guys should start to engage them. That is this guy there. Especially the um, Yashima might might start to look into that. Because we know, or at least there were reports that they had one battleship, which I think might be exactly this. So let's try to do that. Yeah, the Ensign class. So, 8 15 inch guns, pretty hefty. Not that much armor, but a little bit. You don't have that many battleships left, the Ensign class. It is your second biggest one, and the only one with 15 inch guns remaining. Let's go on an almost northerly course to get all of our guns here on her. Sagami being attacked, and now there's an engine room hit that actually penetrates. Which will slow her down to 22 knots. She has limited her flooding, but one of her turrets is currently out of action. Not good, not good. Big question is, are we going to be able to take out the Ensign class? Are we going to be able to run away from all of these heavy cruisers? And Yashima isn't even firing on the Ensign. She really needs to be doing that. Also, why are you changing uh, your direction here, your heading? The uh, Dim class hit, yeah, that's, that's nice, but honestly... Go for the battleship. Do it. Sagami and, and Fuso can go for, for the other ship there. Although Fuso is doing weird stuff. Why is everyone going to 23? No, that's that's fine, sorry. 20, 20 knots. Yeah, we are being slowed down here. Fuso is, is in a dangerous duel down there. And Yashima has... Iwata is being hit by... One of these heavy cruisers. 
Come on, I told you to attack the Ensign class. That is your division target. Yashima, do switch targets, please. Please. You're being now hit by that guy. It's nice of you to, to score hits on the Diadem. Really it is. But it's not the main objective. Notice we've got another group that is uh, over here. But they definitely have a lot of them too. And Yashima is really slow to react to her new orders here. And that has just cost us a turret from Anson. And many more hits here. I would really, really love you to, to do that. Uh, what happens with manual targeting? No, I think that's... I'm not entirely sure what that means. I think it means you're not using your directors for some reason. I don't think it allows us to, tar to specifically target one of, of these guys. Well, one of our groups is attacking the enemy, so that's good. Yoshima has suffered another hull hit here. Pretty, pretty, please just do this. Right, Diadem class hit, Sagami superstructure hit, Fuzu superstructure hit, but more importantly, we are attacking at least a light carrier and uh, scoring three hits on her. Um, let's just note down the location here. Well, sometimes that's a little bit irritating. Fuzu being dive bombed, there's no hits here. But we are scoring a hit with someone. A single dive bomb is coming in and attacking the Ensign. That's nice, and you did score a hit there. Okay, I'm hoping that if we turn a little bit to the east here, then at that point... Yashima might actually understand that she can and should be targeting the Ensign. Iwata is suffering pretty badly because she's lagging behind so far. You know what, we're gonna ask you to go a little bit faster here. We've got these guys and I think this might be one of these moments where we take some destroyers who have torpedoes, you guys, you're on the line ahead formation, good. Go to max speed and let's ask you to come around like that and send some torpedoes their way. Delay a little bit here, that's that's the main objective. And do it like that. Anson class is being hit by a torpedo, not sure what hit her, um, probably something from a plane. Uh, but obviously that's a great result. We'll not bring her down in and of itself, but it is going to do at least a little bit of something there. That is, if we can double down on that. No, no, look at... No, sorry. <laughs> I, I was too excited there. I was uh, reading the Ensign class. I was thinking that uh, it was actually enemy ships who did that, but that's not the case. Yashima is being torpedo bombed by their planes. They haven't hit anything, but then Fuzo is being targeted. And Fuzo is being hit by two torpedoes. Fuzo is suffering terrible damage. Terrible flotation here. Yeah. Almost two-thirds of flotation damage. She's, she's flooding at a rate of 86 units per turn. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Cubic meters? Something like that. And one of her turrets is out of action. She's down to 17 knots. Now, the issue is, if we were to run her at 17 knots, it's pretty likely that she would suffer further flotation damage. Now, that being said, at least her rear, two rear turrets are in action. So what we can do is send her due east. And I do believe that we should send her at a speed of only 9 knots to prevent any further flooding damage. It might be alright once she's um, gotten a little bit more in, in terms of her flooding ready. Um, so once she's repaired a little bit of her damage there. But for now she's, she's suffering pretty badly. 68 still. 50. Yeah, so just a couple of turns and she will be alright. But that can be very long minutes. And Yoshima is still engaging with the heavy cruisers. Not with the Anson class. Muchi Shizuki? Not sure where she is actually located. Probably down here, right? Is that her? Yeah. 
Not sure why you are so far away, but evidently you are. Right, our destroyers here are making a run for it. Is it only two? No, it's three. You guys, can you actually try to go for the Ensign class? Maybe that's going to do something. She has suffered some damage, which probably means... Oh, now finally we are targeting the Ensign class. Thank you, Yashima. Thank you. You are being attacked. No bomb hits. Come on. Now you need to score a hit, please. Well, all of our turrets are back in action. How's Fuzu doing? She has barely any flotation left. So let's bring her... I think it makes sense to try to bring her home. She suffered too much damage here. And that might also bind up these guys, which would be alright. You guys are fine down here. I think you're well within torpedo range of these guys, so let's have you slow down a little bit and, and be a little bit more aggressive like that. Sagami has also been detached for some reason. Let's double check on her, just so that I'm not missing anything. You are flooding a little bit because, yeah, no apparent reason really. Okay, but in that case, let's try to have you close with the Ensign class and more importantly, turn your main guns on these guys. And then Yoshima can be a little bit more independent in seeking her out. It is getting a bit chaotic here. And we are... Ensign class being hit by a 16 inch shell. There we are. Finally, finally, finally. That is what I was looking for. Right. Fuzo drawing away. That's okay. You guys here. Um, can you maybe attach to it? Yeah, you're actually screening for Fuzo. That's fine. We should potentially look for one light cruiser or something to also keep her company. What do we have down here? No, this is just a single carrier, uh, which is operating very far away, but we can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Europa class hit there by Sagami, that's nice. Pretty indecisive here on, on the other hand though. Right, um, you can ca probably go faster, right? So let's try to catch up with the Ensign class and really pummel her into oblivion. Yakazi, you should also hopefully be able to launch some torpedoes at her at some point. She is pretty slow, she is pretty slow. Anson class hit by a four inch gun. That's uh, not going to be enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to do a nice launch of torpedoes here against her. You guys aren't doing what I was hoping that you would do and launch against this cluster there. But we've more or less been able to bypass them now and that is, that is very much appreciated. The heavy cruiser we're also going to send further to the north. I want to catch some carriers with her. Takashi is launching torpedoes. That to up there that's that's interesting that's not what I expected you to do and um, we're actually gonna ask you guys to stop launching torpedoes because I would like to be a little bit closer for that we are also dive bombing a destroyer and we are hitting a destroyer with a dive bomb that's 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 okay but not really what I was looking for see a bomb head what was what what did that mean Sagami is hit in the engine room by the ensign class not good but I don't think it's a penetration right no your speed still seems to be pretty much unaffected yeah well drop down a little bit but it's not too bad right then the ensign class is being hit by four inch guns that's just her we can ask you to launch torpedoes now if you can and then our guys are attacking a heavy cruiser and there is a bomb pit, and I'm not sure why that shows up as, as, as such. Maybe because it's a critical bomb pit? But I don't know. Well, but as long as it's only a heavy cruiser, I'm not going to pursue that target. Yashima is trying to close in with the Ensign. We do have a little bit of a gunnery duel here. Mm, let's try to get her slower and more on that course and maybe we're gonna see some uh, torpedoes here from Yokazi. Oh, no, Yokazi has already launched some, right? Nine above water torpedo chips. Um, can we see that on the... Well, we're gonna see it next minute anyway. Yeah, one, one torpedo has been launched here. And some of our torpedo bombs, these guys down here, will launch an attack against Anson 2. Nice. Let's see whether that is gonna be successful. 
Well, at least we did score one hit. Yakazi is being hit by medium and light guns here, and she is on fire. Uh, that doesn't bode too well. And that is because we have been hit in the torpedo tubes. Which means that these guys are exploding, because remember we are using oxygen class stuff, and that is not good. One of them has been destroyed, but that's also the one that is not carrying any torpedoes anymore. Well, I guess that's that's a consequence rather than a reason, but still. Okay, more torpedo hits. If you could kindly send off your, your remaining torpedoes into Anson, I think that would be that would be very much appreciated. Right, no further targets though that I can see. These torpedoes making their way all the way up here. Somewhat pointlessly, I suppose. You guys, do you have any torpedoes left? Yeah, you do. You could launch against these guys down here. Right, Yakazi. Ooh, notice that Anson has completely slowed down at this point and is basically completely out of action. That means we really, really should be able to launch against Anson. Okay, Anson, Anson is going to go down. And there's another good, good result. One of the Europa classes has been hit down here and she's blowing up just like that. Europa class were also the more dangerous ones, so that is that is truly, truly good. Ooh, um you guys are in a bit of trouble here, so let's try to try to prevent anything further from happening to you. Now, the drawback here is I'm afraid that we're going to launch uh, too many, too much at, at the Ensign because she's clearly going to go down now. And it's it's just going to be a lot of wastage here, I think. I wouldn't mind launching a couple of torpedoes here at, at very close range by the Akazi. Uh, but I don't see that happening right now because she's on fire and she probably has other stuff to do. Fozo is now going to do some stuff on her own, but that's going to be all right. Anson class being further hit here. You are still on fire, but honestly, I think you're going to be all right. We could slow down, slow her down, so that the that we're basically not fanning the flames here. You are okay in in launching your other stuff there, but no torpedoes, as far as I can tell. One battle division is being started to engage here. And we still haven't spotted any carrier directly at least. Anson class being hit by a lot of stuff here from you. Let's stop you from firing. So I don't want to waste any ammunition. Sagami so is getting some hits in, that's alright. Anson, 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 6 inch, 6 inch, 13 inch. That's okay. We're gonna give her the pleasure of just blasting at her at a very close range. You guys, you're still on fire. Can we get you to slow down just to zero? And Sagami, so you guys are gonna go here. And very soon I'm gonna ask you to stop firing. Yashima, what are you doing? Oh, you're probably evading. Yeah, you are. Okay, stop firing. Do do the good thing here. Don't engage her unnecessarily. Yeah, some of these guys are still firing six-inch guns, four-inch guns at her. That's that's fine. Let's 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 have them have the fun. Uh, but again, I don't want to waste the heavy ammo here. Lot of it's on her now. She's she's being toast. Right, but again, she's also not the most important one. So you guys are gonna go ahead and scout again because I want to find these carriers. That's what I want to do. How are you doing? You're still on fire. You might burn out. Lots of small guns or medium guns being fired at her. That's all right. More enemy cru cruises, uh, more enemy planes. Why did I say cruises there? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Right. And some class being hit. What about our carriers? So first carrier division. 
Let's auto select a strike here. That would involve a decent number of planes actually. Let's ready that strike. And who's ready on Akagi? We've got a dive bomb, we've got a torpedo bombers. We've got a couple of got one guy left for um, escort. Let's, let's also ready these guys. And then up over here. We are also gonna ready another strike here. Anson being completely pummeled. Yashima is being attacked but no hits there. That's good. We really do need to do more about our our capabilities in terms of AA. Will we be able to find anyone? First cruiser, that's these guys up there. But I don't see further further targets. And some claws being hit. Someone is attacking a heavy cruiser down here. That's that's alright. But really not the most important thing. Fuso is attacking the aerial down there. That's kind of disappointing. Because Fuso is already suffering some flotation and she would not be surviving another another torpedo, I believe. Um Yoshima is firing stuff. Don't. And if Yoshima is firing, Sagami will also be firing. I could completely ask them to stop firing. Ah, there we go. She's now uh, down. And yeah, we're going to pick up some survivors here. Get some points. That is going to be alright. But more importantly, she's now gone. And that means we're not going to waste any more ammo on her. Which is good. Fuso limits flooding. That's also good. But. Can we find the carriers? I don't I don't see that we do. We are being attacked again and again. But there there's an unknown ship down here at least. Okay, Sagami, can you go down here? What's her max speed? Twenty two knots. She's also pretty slow. I think she might be a heavy cruiser. But I don't know. They seem to be limping around here. Sagami being attacked, no hits. Sagami maneuvering around to avoid being hit. Successfully. Iwate too. We've got a good number of combat patrols planes up there. Around Yoshima, but not around Sagami. Let's try to bring them a little bit closer. Yes, we do want to try to target the enemy, but... Yeah, looks like that's a heavy cruiser. We are engaging her here with Yoshima. There's another unknown ship being sighted down here, but again, that's probably all the stuff that we've seen before. And I very much doubt that that's going to be a carrier. I think the carriers must be further to the north, potentially to the west, but it's a big ocean. We're, we're unlikely to find them um, if, if we don't have any idea where they are. Yakazi is suffering further trouble here. The fire is spreading. Our damage control is not what it needs to be. Fuso is laying smoke. Why is Fuso laying smoke? I don't see any danger down here except for that one destroyer, which hopefully you should be alright to take out. Yashima, um, again, we're going to ask you to be a little bit slower here in, in your ammo consumption, just for 10 minutes. I think that's fine as you're closing in. My enemy aircraft. Even more enemy aircraft. Where are they? Where are they? That's the last report that we've seen. And evidently there are no carriers here. Three torpedo bombers attacking stuff? Well, torpedo bombers attacking Fuso, that's worse. Fuso is suffering so badly already. Especially from flooding. Okay, Yashima is re-engaging here, I think, so we're going to slow her down again a little bit.
Yeah, Kalsi Fire is being control uh, being brought under control a little bit. Hopefully we might do more there. Okay, at least we did sink a ship up there. That might have been very much from our previous engagements there. But so far I, I can't see anything. Oh, there's there's a 16 inch sh shell hit. Doesn't seem to slow her down, or does it? Uh, well, she seems to be lowering a, l a little bit slower. That's good. Mm, we're going to do that again. We're going to go for 10 minutes, going to go slightly slower. And as we're closing in, sorry, we're going faster, but we are holding our guns while we, so yeah, we did see, we now know that the ship that we sunk there is the Dasher. And finally, the Akazi fires are being extinguished, so that's nice to see. Let's try to get closer to the heavy cruiser here. Yeah. Diadem class, if we can sink her, that would be lovely. Temperamental engines on some of our light cruisers there. Um, Sagami, what are you doing actually? You could go due east. Due west, I mean. Here we are again. Planes attacking first carrier. And we've got all of our our airplanes out. It w was a mistake, wasn't wasn't it? We don't know where they are. Well, that one the other hand was very nice. Single hit here. Completely uh, smashed her. Right, but that being said, where are their carriers? At least it's uh, torpedo planes on their side. Where are they? There's another report here of heavy cruisers. Well, that's actually an issue here because we are so focused on getting them that we are maybe a little bit neglecting that they are also very close to us. So, where are our carrier groups? That's Akagi down here. That's first first group, right? Yeah, Akagi and Hosho down there. And is that our other group? Chicago up there. Okay, so let's grab the Hosho planes. And let's ask her to go up here and strike just anything. Yeah, you're ready and flying. That's good. So let's try to get them back and at the same time you guys can double back and, and try to save our stuff. So yeah, because I really don't know where the enemy carriers are. It, it would be foolish to seek them out in the big big ocean. They might be anywhere at this point honestly. So let's try to bring our guys back together. Consolidate a little bit. I think we have seen good good attacks on us. I don't want to push our luck too badly, so So let's try to disengage here. We're approaching enemy ships, that's good. Let's see what ships they are. Destroyer, destroyer bomb hit. Heavy cruiser, no hit. Another destroyer, no hit. Yeah, it's pretty much what we've seen before. The Diadem classes, maybe one or Europa class. Sagami sighting an unknown ship. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Probably small ships. Yeah, it seems to be small ships. Still, if we can do some damage here, that'd be good. Also, I don't want to get um, Yoshima being torpedoed by these guys. It's probably a destroyer squadron or something like that. Yeah, we're actually losing sight of them. This would be a good time to have radar. Alas, we don't. There's another plane, uh, there's another ship there. Probably a destroyer, currently being identified as a heavy cruiser. Unlikely. Oh no, it is. It's an Europa class. It's actually good. I, I would like the Europa class to be engaged here against Sagami. But it's actually Yashima who's suffering, uh, who's scoring the first hit here. 
And we are also starting to become a little bit short on ammunition. Come on, blow her up. You know you want to. Some big hits here. Yeah, that's another 16 inch hit. Uh, Iwate being hit too. In the engine room, no, no less. Akagi being torpedo attacked, but unsuccessfully so. Okay, the Europa class is withdrawing. And some torpedo boats are, or some destroyers are swooping in. Presumably to, to save her. Yashima, for some reason, doesn't use her front turret there. Might have been out of... Uh, what's going on here? What, what, what did I miss? Why is our cargo limiting flooding? What what happened? One super big bomb hit a couple of minutes ago that I didn't see. 1,600 pound bomb. She's on fire. She is flooding. She's trying to limit her flooding, but there are 200 coming in at the same time. And this is our main carrier, isn't it? Yeah. Not good, not good at all. Where are they coming from? We've got no clue, haven't we? Yeah, our recon wasn't wasn't doing it for us. Destroyer, destroyer, destroyer. Okay, let's let's try to send someone over there. So we are gonna grab Akagi. We're gonna select anyone who's ready. A couple of you guys are already flying off. You guys, it's just eight planes. But if we were to go over here, range 136, that should be fine, right? Let's. Oh, it's actually going to be night time. Right, in that case, let's stand her down. Striking below. Do we have anyone else who's ready? You're all unready, that's good. Got a couple of guys here who are ready. Let's select all of them and stand them down for night time. We could have them on board the entire night. There's nothing in game that's stopping us from doing that. It's just a very bad idea. Right, the Europa class there is still being pummeled by Yashima. But it would be foolish to try to go there, especially with Akagi being hit. I think we don't want to push it. We want to get home, basically. Get home, call it a day. We have sunk one heavy battleship. Heavy battleship. It's always a heavy battleship. That's there, guys, there. But I suppose very soon we're going to see the disengagement here, especially as the night time is, turning, uh, is coming around. Sagami is out of sight. That's, that's okay. I don't think there was um, a big issue there. And we can finally turn someone back to base here. A couple of our guys are drifting around. And you guys, I mean, you're supporting that? Can, can we be a core part of that at least? Be, be closer towards that? I think that would be much better. You're independent. I also think you should be supporting the... Not Sagami. Chicago, yeah. And oh, sorry for the noise. That was my phone, not yours. Don't be, don't be alarmed by that. Right, and you should also potentially be screening for Chicago because you're around here anyway, and these guys really shouldn't be there. I, I feel. Fuzo, you should try to get back to Yoshima if you can. And let's do it like that. Okay, these guys are consolidating. These guys are running down. That's that's at least good. Uh, although I'm slightly afraid where they are going. And I don't think they should be turning in the wind because at night time, no one should be launching anything. But I also hope. Ah, damn it, Yakazi is sinking. 
She was she was brave. She was closing in there with the ensign, and we could um, have someone stay around in theory, but um, in practice I can't because I don't have control over that. So normally I would keep at least one destroyer around here. Another destroyer on our and sinking from the damage that she has suffered. There we go. That is the end. Oh, but lo lovely. Um, actually, one of our submarines here manages to score a torpedo hit on one of their carriers. So, how did that turn out? Not as well as I would have liked it to do. We've got one of our battleships with heavy damage. That's the Fuso, probably. Two of them with light damage. We have sunk one of their battleships. So, in that sense, yeah, sure. One of theirs sunk. One of ours is just heavily damaged. On the other hand, we have suffered light to medium damage on two of our, on all of our carriers. That's three of our three carriers. They haven't. They've only suffered light damage on one of their carriers and one auxiliary carrier was sunk. That's good. Three heavy cruisers sunk. I mean, it's a good result. We can't, we can't be sad about this, but still. Also notice they brought in 400 planes. We only 200. Uh, we lost 30. They lost 65. Half of them were lost on the light cruiser, uh, light carrier that went down. And let's look at the ship details here. The Ensign has been sunk. That is actually the Ensign. Obviously, a lot of the stuff here is, is superfluous, but that is very nice. Yeah, she was scoring early hits, but then our bomb hit, and that was actually uh, a deck penetration. That's nice. It also really um, pays to bring in the heavy bombs. And then there's the torpedo engine hit from the Hosho. So this time around our carriers did really do well and that is super good because notice how much flooding she had. She was doing super bad and that was the engine room. So that's pretty bad and that finally brings her into range with the Yashima and that's... But at least it confirms a little bit what we have been seeing before. Our light forces are capable of harassing the enemy and doing enough damage so that then our heavy ships can come in and and really go for it notice how how little was actually required after that there's another torpedo from akagi then from from yakazi and then she's sinking and all of the other stuff is is actually wasted Europa, Andromeda, Niobe, that's nice. Dasher, that's the one that I wanted to see because I was curious on how what happened here. So Torpedo um, is hitting and actually starting a fire and at the same time she's hit by a 1,000 pound bomb. That's very nice. That's historically very difficult to fight off a, to a joint torpedo and uh, dive bombing attack. Another near miss, one dot bomb and one superstructure hit. But you can see the issue here. She had fueled aircraft there and one of our 1,000 pound bombs hit her hangars and there is already a fire starting. That's at level four, it's spreading to five. They reduce it, it's spreading again. At the same time, she's trying to um, cause the flooding, uh, to, to reduce the flooding, flooding, flooding. Um, but then she's hit yet another time. And that is, this is probably what, what is killing her. Yeah, she's not able to to deal with all of that stuff anymore. She's only very light, 10,000 tons, uh, but still a good result here. Fuso suffering super heavily. What was that early torpedo hit that you suffered there? Yeah, engine, engine room hits. Limits flooding, torpedo, Barracuda from Argus. I thought as much, but you managed to survive, so that's nice. Let's also look at the pathing here, because I would really, really like to see what was going on. And it's slightly difficult to decipher that sometimes, but I'm curious as to where the enemy carriers are now. Oh, look at that. Argus, Curious, Courageous, all unescorted. They stumbled into their night. They, they lost their escorts. They were starting out over here, so sort of as we expected. But around, I wouldn't say one o'clock, midnight, no, sorry, midday. No, that's offset against Greenwich Mean Time, right? Yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Um, at the internal time of 12, when we were around where? We were pretty far away, actually. So, yeah, when we dashed to the north, they actually dashed to the south. 
So yeah, that's pretty clever of them actually. So this is the main engagement that we were fighting. And as that was happening, they were turning around there and coming around so that our offensive to the north there was pretty much going nowhere. There's another heavy cruiser. Nothing too big there. That's just a starting position, but there are a couple of plane uh, ships up here. The Adri Yatne heavy cruiser. Yeah, pretty clever. Pretty clever of them, I have to say. Uh, but unfortunately, not much we could do about that. I don't think it would have been possible to guess that they were doing that. Although what's slightly disillusioning is, is just how many attacks they could score from there. But that being said, this has been super, super long. But I do hope you enjoyed this first carry engagement. First proper carry engagement. Carry on carrier battle that we were doing here. And I think it was pretty good. We will need to do more with our destroyers though. But that is for next time to decide. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, no, what, you know what? We're going to actually finish the turn here and see uh, what else is going to happen here. Uh, Mikhail's are we're finishing. A couple of ships finishing their reconstruction and working up. Nice. Gradual rate of fire improvement. Also good. Ooh, six inch dual purpose mounts. That would be lovely. British fighters are faster than ours. Mariana's being uh, fortier. We are sinking a couple of ships with our submarines. That's nice. Good. Right. So now I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.